different types of walks and how to do them. So number one type of walk is a forward walk. So how to do it? Simple way, through body weight understanding. Collect your tummy in beautiful posture. The foot is under you. You, as you release your shoulder to the hip, you go into the split weight position, always split weight. From here, you're gonna maneuver your spine over the foot till the moment your hip cannot go any, far, any further more forward. But spine is on top of the hip, okay? Not hip on itself. Then from here, use this hip, collect like under. From here again, you have a split weight position and then you transfer and completing your transfer and collect, split weight, transfer. That's how to do a forward walk. So it's a little bit broken down, but when you're gonna dance fast in music through the split weight, you will have much more rolling and much more uh, smooth movement. Also, you can connect better with the partner. So your partner will, so let's say if I'm dancing with him, so I have a, if my spine is forward and I'm dancing girl part, you see I'm more in control in between my feet in between, so this is one foot another, I'm in between, so that in between I can more control, so I can more be musical, more connected, and you'll see how after that you can actually lead and play with the body weight as you lead. Okay, the second walk is a backward walk you need to learn how to do. So prepare your tummy in, chest forward, knee back. Now you send your heel, uh, your leg back only, no weight, okay? With the heel as much as possible towards the floor. So now in this case, my hip's still on the left. And now from here, you're using this front leg and you complete your body weight. So it's a split weight into the complete weight. Split weight, then you complete. And you have that in between, that collecting moment where you get things together. Collect, split weight, finish the weight. Collect, split weight, finish the weight. Got it? So you have these three elements, collecting, split weight, and then you're completing your weight. It's in a simple way, how to understand body weight. Okay, the third type of walk is the sidewalks, which is exactly the same. So you go split weight. You don't want to change the weight, right? You have split weight. So you're delaying your hip slightly, and then you're coming with your full weight over the leg. Split weight, coming over. Okay, so it's already three type. What's next type? So the next type, it's already a little bit more difficult, is a delayed walk. So what it means, delay walk? Delayed walk, it has to do with the body weight. And we use them to create a lot of speed and power. So for example, like normally, like I teach you, you have to collect the foot and as you release to the gravity, you have to take a step. But what we can do, let's say, we send our leg back, we can actually drive our spine forward. And as we drive our spine back, we will point our foot forward. So this is delay. And this normally, for example, you do it when you do some turns, this delay forward walk with the knee straight, okay? So, you, and it has to do with the weight change. So, you, so the partner will take your overbalance here and send you back. That's how you create that point. And then you, for example, will go walk or you can go run, run. So for example, if he is the girl, so she, he's doing rumble walks for this. So he's doing rumble walk, rumble walk, and then rumble walk. And here I decide to delay him. So I take him more over. I send him back as he point. Now from here, we can accelerate. Or we can turn, we can do everything. So this is called delay walk. And you have a lot of it, okay? So another way of delay walk is delay walk with the bent knee, so which we call 90 degrees. So close your feet like this and do this. Turn. So, so it's delay walk. Because normal walk, you should put your heel down and split weight. So in this case, you have maybe, you know, 3% weight over your leg. Let's try it on other leg. Delay. Very good, with the bend knee. And after this, normally, of course, if you have a lot of time, you can exit slowly, but most of the time from here, you have to push and go to something fast. Yes, because delay walks we use for speed. Okay, next type of walk we call forward walk turning. Forward walk turning is when we step, split weight, and from here, instead of continuing forward, we're gonna pivot on this leg, or we call, I call it pivot. So as your body weight continue traveling over the leg, you're using your shoulders and you're pivoting on the leg. So this is called forward walk turning. So you go walk, forward walk turning. Walk. And you can do it on the hip or with the high hip. Walk, split weight, and you can go high hip as you complete, or you can go low hip. Walk, you can go low, low hip, like you're doing with your swivels. 
But the key here is that, that split rate position that you don't want to go over it right away. Another one is a delay backward walk. So for example, if you dance, instead of doing step and then continue, I actually can drift my weight forward and delay my walk and then go accelerate. So delayed backward walk. Okay, and the last but not the least is a rocking rock steps. We call them rock steps. So let's say if you go here, you're rocking. So you're rocking between steps. You rock. So it's not really delay, it's not really normal walk, it's just like a rock step. So you're rocking. You can rock back and forth, uh, forward, and you can rock side to side. So, for example, when you're gonna dance your routine, we can find moments where you can do all this, but understanding of this walks is very important. For example, your basic fundamental will be to do a normal walk. So you send your leg back with the heel down, then transfer, leg, transfer, leg, transfer, 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 and leg, transfer, leg, transfer, leg, you see, so you heel down, and then you graduate, transfer, transfer, tra leg, transfer, leg, transfer, leg, and for example, now here, if I want to do delay, look, I'll take you forward to me closer, now I send you back, you point your foot forward, no, no, don't, yep, yeah. Yeah. step forward, yeah. you see, I'm taking him forward, I send you back, he delays, and then from here I can go run, run, warm. Yeah, that's how you can make, you can play with your weight. Yeah, yeah. So if you stay here, you see, I take you a little bit over balance. I send you back as you point your foot forward, point your foot forward, and go run, run, walk. You see, cheek, cheek, walk. The same here. You see, I send you back, point your foot forward, point your foot, run, run, run. So you have these little accelerations. As a matter of fact, anytime you do underarm turn, it's a sort of delay walk. So you drive, drive, drive your way towards me. You see, I'm sending you back, so you have to point, 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 girl. Warm and turn. Yeah, you have to be a little bit sooner. So you see, I'm here. You have to be, your leg has to be sooner to straight. So I take you in, and your leg wants to walk. But before, because I stop your weight, it's become a delay walk. So this is, of course, long-term uh, understanding. So it's understanding of your 10 type of walks. But for you, at least one it will be good that you do forward, back, and side with the split rate. And if you do delay walks, we, will, we can you know, target that subject more, more in depth later on. Yes? So let's try your rumba.